Anubis, the Egyptian god of death. Anubis is one of the most ancient and fascinating deities of the Egyptian pantheon. He is the god of funerary rites, protector of graves, and guide to the afterlife. He is usually depicted as a jackal or a man with a jackal head, symbolizing his connection to the dead and the desert. His name means royal child in ancient Egyptian, and he was also known by various titles such as first of the westerners, lord of the sacred land, and master of secrets. Anubis played a vital role in the ancient Egyptian belief system, which centered on the concept of eternal life after death. The Egyptians believed that the soul, or ka, of a person could only achieve immortality if the body was preserved through mummification and buried with proper rituals and offerings. Anubis was the god who supervised this process, ensuring that the corpse was embalmed correctly and that the tomb was protected from robbers and enemies. He also escorted the soul of the deceased to the Hall of Judgment, where he assisted Osiris, the god of the underworld, in weighing the heart of the dead against the feather of truth. If the heart was lighter than the feather, meaning that the person had lived a righteous life, Anubis would lead them to paradise. If the heart was heavier than the feather, meaning that the person had committed sins, Anubis would hand them over to Amit, a fearsome beast who devoured them. Anubis' origins are shrouded in mystery. He is one of the oldest gods in Egyptian mythology, dating back to the pre-dynastic period, before 3100 BC. Some scholars suggest that he may have been a local god of a specific region or tribe before being incorporated into the national religion. Others propose that he may have been derived from an earlier canine deity, such as Wepwawet, who was also associated with death and war. Anubis' popularity lasted until the Middle Kingdom, 2055 to 1650 BC, when he was gradually replaced by Osiris as the main god of the dead. However, he did not disappear completely, he continued to be revered as Osiris' assistant and son, or sometimes brother, and as a patron of embalmers, priests, and magicians. Anubis is one of the most frequently depicted and mentioned gods in Egyptian art and literature. He appears in various forms, such as a full jackal, a human with a jackal head, or a human wearing a jackal mask. He is often shown holding a flail, a scepter, or an ankh, the symbol of life. He is also featured in many scenes related to funerary practices, such as mummification, burial, and judgment. He is sometimes accompanied by his female counterpart, Anput, his daughter, Kebeshet, a serpent goddess, or his son, Kebesanuf, a falcon-headed god. Anubis also has a prominent role in several myths and legends, such as the Osiris myth, where he helps Isis to resurrect her husband, the Book of the Dead, where he guides the soul through various trials, and the Book of Caverns, where he fights against Apophis, the serpent of chaos. Anubis is a fascinating god who reflects the ancient Egyptian fascination with death and immortality. He is a powerful and benevolent protector who ensures that the dead are treated with respect and dignity. He is also a mysterious and secretive god who holds many secrets about the afterlife and magic. He is an enduring symbol of Egyptian culture and religion, and a source of inspiration for many modern works of art and fiction.